Hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. Today, I'm going to start on this. Doesn't look like much, but eventually it'll be the clapper bo um, block that'll hold the actual tool. So, first step will be the bandsaw. Be right back. I'm thinking the mill for the, most of the operations. First I'll just give it a quick whack on the belt sander to get the most egregious stuff off. Right, I just want to do this to where I'm just seeing the cast surface here. Safety spectacles. I will be coming back to this and thinning it down a bit more, but I don't know how much I need to thin it down to yet. I'm not going to bother about that dip there because it'll be on the back to, anyway. This side of the clapper block on the other hand will be on display so I did want that one looking nice. I may need a bit of metal there. Right, that's good enough for this side. Now to turn it over. There's the sides done. We're done with this. This surface has to mate good well with the down feed so it has to be flat across the whole thing. Right now I need to change the cutter over. Right, there's a Still a bit of rough surface there, but the clapper block will be in front of that, so I don't really mind. Last. I did not mean to do that. 37.1 millimeters across. This is 39.8. I've tidied up this to where I'm happy, so I need to take a millimetre off and then I'll re-examine it. Need to take 0.8 off. Yep, that is a beautiful fit. Just what I wanted. Now for the traditional heap of cleaning. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the person who suggested the vacuum to clean up the mill. So this is what we have. I need to deburr the edges and also scrape in these surfaces on the side and along here because they will be a bearing surface against each other as it claps. Deburring will be the easiest first. In hindsight I wish I hadn't put the gate right there. 
it's amazing just how fast you can take things off just by filing. Nobody's going to see this, but I'll know. I've marked off there where I need to trim this block to. Alright, need to do a hole here, about three quarters of a last name. Okay, my mistake. This is supposed to be M8, so I need to drill it out to 7mm. Alright, let's tap this. Alright, and this will hold the two parts perfectly aligned while I drill through here for the hinge. Alright, it needs to be 3 8 in and 3 8 from the top of the I'm doing this drill job in the mill because I want to be precise about it. I found a neat little app for my phone that will tell me um, what, what speeds and feeds to use for things. So let's see, jobber twist drill, 5mm, high speed steel, cutting an alloy, just under 7000 rpm according to this. I think I see why so many people use their mills to drill with because it does it amazingly easily. Of course with that said, this is Zamac and it comes up. And we are through. For this last bit I had the drill bit just hanging on because there's only just enough reach in the drill to reach all the way through this. I did get an extra long 5mm drill but it's meant for, for masonry and it's got little spades on the tip of it which means it drills slightly over 5mm which is not what I want. This is 5mm silver steel or what the Americans call drill rod so it should be pretty accurately dimensioned I have no idea why, but it comes in 900mm lengths. Alright, a bit of deburring. I think I may have to cut a longer piece and make a debit reamer. I didn't really want to do this because now I've got to sharpen it. The nice thing about this being a D-bit reamer is that I can run it um, the normal way or the opposite way and it'll still cut. I thought about using one of my proper reamers, but someone pointed out that if you ream with the very stuff that you're going to put in there, then it will be a perfect fit. In any case, now I've got a 5mm D-bit reamer. Right, I'm going to put a set screw in there. A set screw in here will ensure that the hinge stays in place. Yeah, I thought I was done tapping the tool. M6 course, short. Right, clean that out a bit. I'm not going to put the hinge pin in just yet because I've still got more machining to do on the clapper block itself. 